everybody welcome to another ride along with goggles and today we're in fort morgan uh colorado and this looks like something recon added so here we, i'll have a quick peek at the map but this is urgent so we got to get going um yeah so he's added this cargo here in fort morgan it's kind of cool and we got to run it down to uh sell goods in lamar and this is a kind of nice drive, especially this bit right here. I really like this. This is kind of all freeway and stuff, but this little bit and this bit is great. And um, the new skin is set out of Wichita, Kansas. And so here we are next door to Kansas doing a little work with our uh, our uh, expedited express Wichita, Kansas skin and on the truck and trailer. And we'll get a little look at this uh, when we can. But for now, we got to hop in and get going. Reset Toby. Oh, that's good. Jeez, I got the steering wheel in the wrong place now. Shoot. Oh, well, we'll have to roll with it. Uh, lights. Cameras. Action. Now to get out of here. Jeez. Well, Recon, he <laughs> made it hard enough to get in. Well, uh... I think I'm gonna go around these guys. Oops. What's going on? Oh. What's. Why? Why is it not want to move? What's going on? There. Oops. Oh, there's a bollard right there. Holy. He must have been in a foul mood when he made this place, because wait till you see what we're going to have to do, I think, to get out. It was a real pain in the butt to get in. I had to, uh... Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. It, it wasn't terrible, but look at getting out. It's going to be kind of crazy. I don't know what... Recon, come on, man. What are you doing? to get in here like look at you come in then you got this right turn into there i went down that way did a u-turn past the scale came up back across the scale and actually look at that i think we're got the weight of the truck and trailer anyway empty which is something i don't usually do kind of cheating if we go across the scale <laughs> Anyway, out of uh, right. I was just curious because the scale was right there, and it was um, geez, what was it, thirty-eight thousand one seventy or something like that? Oh boy! Okay, well we're off. Go oh, stop sign. Uh oh Got the old 444 going here again. Yards, turn left. I forgot to put the windows up turn in yesterday's right. video. Oh, turn left right here. Whoa. I was, th oh my word. I was looking at that uh, freeway and thinking, oh yeah, we always turn on the other side of the freeway if we're going left. My bad. Uh, company expedited express I just made it up and I went and looked to see if there was any on the DOT registry in the states any uh, expedited express and the only thing I found was expedite and that was uh, like a broker 
so totally free and clear to use this. The made up uh, DOT number. So I guess we must be heading back towards Denver right now. And when we get there, we're, oops, gonna hang a south for a little bit and then a pretty quick east. Just zoom that map out a little bit so we keep an eye on it. I think this guy's gonna slow down here in this 65 and we're gonna Try and stay at about five over. Guys, we're in a hurry. Oh, we're probably going to have to get off up here. Fort Collins in Denver. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. So our cargo is. Um, oh. Oh, we probably want to be in the left lane here. Uh, um, bulk deli meats. All that good stuff, you know, with all the sodium in it. Yahoo. <laughs> Dang. I don't know. It's half to make it taste good and half preservatives. Like the old salt beef. be in the left lane here too. Darn. Keep left. I didn't really have a dotted line to do that on. Cargo was pretty heavy, 40 some odd thousand. to this place the other day too down here on the right in the back in there back that corner where that uh, locomotive was that engine that's kind of interesting I think that must be a recon thing too wait a minute let's have a quick look at the map see what's going on there pre Purina, yeah it's a recon thing so yeah, I turned off and you can see I was there. I actually was in with this uh, Aruda truck, I guess. Went in back around here. It's kind of cool. What's it got here? West Coast. Wow, I have to check and see what that is. Dang. West Coast, what? Oh, man. I have to figure that out. Okay, let's get the map where we can see what we're doing. So I got this kind of cool lettering on here with the uh, shadow under it. And the uh, same with the logo, the double E. And it looks good in a whole bunch of colors, so I uh, paid attention to that when I was making the the script and stuff. That it was something we could put on 
a lot of colors. And I decided on this baby blue here. It's not even really baby blue. It's kind of sky blue for this trip because uh, I've been driving so many, you know, I just drive so many red and black and dark green and So I'll get this thing uh, sorted out here. Uh, the truck skin, I think, is pretty much good to go. But I'm going to try and, oh boy, we'll see what we do. It's movie night tonight with the family here. So what am I going to do? There's not a lot to do on the reefer. I might be able to get it all out in time for the video. Yeah, so this is that four lane I was talking about heading east. And somewhere up here, I think the next sign of civilization, we're going to be hanging a south. Yeah, I like this. Uh, you know, I really like this Cummins engines here, this 444, for uh, when I'm cruising and wanting to listen to tunes. Because you can just hear enough of it, then you got your tunes blaring. You can still maintain enough of a sense of what's going on and not mess your rhythm up too bad on the shifting. And then uh, it uh, you can hear the tunes real good. Real good. Uh, did I put this on the button? I don't think so. Oh, I did. Yeah, there we go. That's a different hood view. Right after 50 yards. Or a uh, roof view. Um, I got this skin so far. It works on all the caps except for a day cap. Right oh, what's going on here? They got us going... St go straight. Laurie, what in the heck are you doing? We're going right back onto the highway. Oh my word. Did you have to do that? Oh, look at all the uh, massive traffic and there's a scale. We'll probably get pulled into it. Oh, that's impeding progress. Oh, we can bypass it. Oh, that's good. Having weighed the truck and trailer, we would be, uh, well, we'd be um, right in around 80,000 pounds. So, no, ment <laughs> no mental gymnastics required today. And a lot of uh, uh, WAG going on there, <laughs> but I usually do that. It's just, Quick calculations. Right. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. Oh, this is what I thought she was uh, getting us turned off for here. Exit right ahead. Uh oh, missed that one. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. Yeah, we would have been, like, I don't know where all this traffic came from. It was like, as soon as we went up that ramp, did you, you see all that traffic go heading on down the the highway that uh, must have been somewhere behind us. If we didn't have much ahead of us, there was nothing. And now we've got all of this going on. That is really unfortunate. Did the recon put you up to that, Lori?
kind of, I might stick with the black hood. Look at those guys up ahead, too. Jeez. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Well, we were making pretty good time initially, so it may not be the end of the world. Looks like there's some kind of... Oh, is it through this town? Hopefully it's an intersection where... Uh, Where we get to uh, a bunch of them can go straight on and we go left. Would be nice. Oh, it's a curve in the road. Darn. We haven't lost them yet. any of them off through town here. It's the, uh, it's not the, uh, uh, Montana Express up there, I don't think. It's slow. Oh, it goes down to one lane here. I have some fella ahead of him that's slowing everybody up. Our fellas, look at them all. Is that a railway track back there? I seem to remember we're doing a... Ah, oh, I'll have to get out to look. Yeah, went through here. I remember that with Grant and uh, Recon on a convoy. That was kind of fun. We had the uh, Hal Creek skins going and the Bart's reefer it was all a fairly fresh thing then with the Hal Creek Bart's. Was it for Grant? You guys wouldn't have had a uh, Hell Creek uh, W900 from Ruta. <laughs> yeah, Grant was a KW guy, so we whipped him up a KW skin. Oh, look at this, 40 miles an hour and 60. Come on, guys. 65, actually. Oh, now 55. I haven't got to hurry up yet, so we may survive this. But if we go this slow the whole way, we could be in trouble yet. We can't shake these guys off somehow. shift. Been a long time since I pulled a Ruta Reefer. After 50 yards, go straight. I think I got to do a whole bunch of my Ruta Reefer skins. I guess that's another thing I'm going to have to look at because the alignment across the front, and Keep right. especially after the front, 50 yards, go straight. I think a bunch of them changed. Go straight with recent updates. I have to look into that. Uh, that's half-tempted to 
past that guy, but corner is kind of close. Oh, look at that. Didn't go down to a double line. Huh. But all I would do is just catch up to the next car up ahead. And he stopped behind that grain hauler up there in the school bus. Oh, 26 miles. Well, we're, we're almost there. Well, maybe we're going to be all right. I was going to do the uh, control and steering wheel video today and uh, if you don't spend too much time in movie night and everything else editing this video I may still get to it or I'll do it tomorrow first thing but it'll come out real soon hopefully before the end of day Tuesday Go straight. Get uh, go in past the home shop here, the Lamar Garage. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Oh, that's nasty. Turn there goes Hell Creek Beef, beef Turkey. Well, the meat is coming to town today. We got the beef jerky. We got the deli meats. Uh oh. Go ahead, dude. Turn left. Oh, they wanted to go past the garage. Shoot. Can I turn left up there? Yeah, I can. Where the hell Creek guy's going? Oh, we didn't just make it real hard for ourselves to get into the cell goods. Uh, right. Right. We saw the Hell Creek dude in here parking up, but he's probably just driving around around the block, as the AI tends to do. You have reached your destination. A bunch of great John Ruta reefers in here. Look at them all. Oh, we get to go up and park amongst them. One, two, three, four, five. Kind of cool. Oh, oh, jeez, I'm driving a B-double. <laughs> Let's try this. There we go. Uh-oh, 
high speed. I get into trouble in a hurry with that. High range reverse. Too far to the left. Okay. Are we too far to the right? Well, I'll take that, and then uh, we'll have a little look at the trailer when we, we get out of here. Let's see, lights, brakes. Have a little look at this, so uh, we'll do the old... Uh, Walkabout thingy here. Got to get over to here. Whoops. <laughs> Got that ripping along. So, so I used that text generator to make the uh, shadowed text. And, um, and stacked it up to make a couple layers to make the, uh, the logo. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but that's a nice big long uh, curve. Well, let's see if we can line it up and see. I never did this. Oops. How do I go down? There? There. Let's go up. So yeah, it's a nice big long curve, the stripe. Up towards the, till it gets to the sleeper. And then uh, the uh, lines where they go, they zigzag up. Those are curved too, but you can't really tell. But they're not straight. So I just wanted to have that the whole thing kind of got a curve deal going on. And then it goes off onto the trailer. You got that shadowed effect there, or stacked. Shadow on the uh, script, Wichita, Kansas. So, should be pretty cool. It's time to start making skins for Kansas with it right around the corner. And once again, this thing looks good in all kinds of colors. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't say that. I like it all kinds of colors it's up to you guys whether it looks good or not and uh what you do with it yeah you know i tried to um, probably six seven different colors just to see that make sure it um it works pretty good probably black you would you would lose the effect of the uh, shadow of course but red and deep burnt orange and copper and green and even look kind of good in uh the uh night moves fluorescent green actually actually look pretty good and um there i go saying things look good again when i should leave that up to you guys anyway i liked it um <laughs> so i'll try and make sure this is out at least the, the truck skin will be out with the video and i i guess i could probably get the trailer skin out too um but anyway guys appreciate you following along as always and um New subscribers, you guys rock. Let's uh, keep on going, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, and bye for now.